In this video, I'm gonna be taking you through everything you need to know to get your very own WordPress website set up. I want this video to be short and snappy and to the point, so let's go. Hello, it's Alex here from WP Eagle. I hope you're all well. So those of you that are regulars on my channel will know that I've got a number of tutorials all around creating your very own WordPress website. But those tutorials are quite long. They're at least an hour. Some of them are even two hours long. So this video is to kind of plug that gap. I wanna explain exactly what you need to set your own WordPress website up. I'm gonna cut out all the detail. We're just gonna go through the top level points and hopefully it'll be enough for you to get a website up and running really quickly. If you are new to the channel, hello, good to see you. Be sure to subscribe. That way you'll be notified when I upload some new videos. Yeah, be sure to click the bell and you won't miss out. But anyway, as I said, quick, short, snappy, let's go. So one thing I wanna clarify before we get started is that this is all about setting up your very own self-hosted WordPress website. A lot of people that aren't familiar with WordPress, but they just kind of heard about it and they wanna set their own site up. They head over to wordpress.com and they sign up for one of the plans over there. And then they realize that they can't kind of do what they want to do with it. And they're very restricted. And that's because wordpress.com is just a blogging platform. And if you want a fully blown, a fully fledged, fully featured WordPress, you need wordpress.org which is what we're gonna be doing in this video. So the first thing you're gonna need is a domain name. Now I always go to GoDaddy for my domain names. I'll put links to all the things I talk about in the description. Some of them might be affiliate links, so if you use them, thank you very much. So go over to GoDaddy, do a search for the domain name that you want and, and buy it. That's all you gotta do, it's simple as that. If you've already got a domain name with another provider, don't worry, I'm gonna be talking about how you can use that in the next step. The second thing you're gonna need is some um, website hosting. This is basically a company that looks after your website, keeps it online, uh, you use a little bit of their server, they take care of everything. I use HostGator, I find them really good. They're great value for money, and the performance that you get and the service you get is good. So simply head over to HostGator.com, click on web hosting, choose the plan you want. Hatchling plan is generally fine for most people. Click on sign up now then select I already own this domain. Type in the domain you just registered. Scroll down, select the billing cycle that you want. I suggest you go for something that's 12 months or longer. That way you get the best value for money. Fill in username, password, and all your billing details. You can untick the additional services. We don't need them. Then we get to the coupon code. If you use the code EAGLEFREE0, which is my coupon code, you'll get a fantastic uh, discount and I'll also earn a small affiliate commission. So thank you very much if you use it. I really appreciate it. Scroll down, tick the box I have read and agree, and then you're ready to check out and you're all done. So once you've got your hosting set up, you wanna repoint your domain name. So if you just purchased it from GoDaddy, you need to head over there, log in, and you need to update the DNS servers with the two servers that you'll have received from HostGator in an email. Just copy and paste them in and you're all done. Now, if you've got a domain name from another provider, the theory is basically the same. You wanna log into your domain name provider, find the domain you wanna use, edit the DNS servers and insert the ones that you got from your hosting provider, which will probably be HostGator if you're following this video. So yeah, just copy and paste them in. There may be a delay in terms of getting them working. Give it a couple of hours and it should be all good. The third step is to install WordPress. Now, most hosts like HostGator make it really easy. All you gotta do is log into your hosting control panel and you will see a link to install WordPress. It should be at the top somewhere. It may be in, you know, install applications, something like that, but there'll be a clear link to install WordPress. Follow that and follow the wizard. You might have to enter a few bits of information, but in a few moments, you'll have WordPress all installed and ready to go. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is install a theme. You can do this from within WordPress once you're logged in. I hope you made a note of those login details after you installed WordPress. So log into WordPress, go into appearance and then themes and you can browse kind of a whole library of free themes that are available from WordPress directly. A few free themes that I like and you'll find links to all of these themes in the description are GeneratePress, Astra and OceanWP. They're all good because they use a great drag and drop uh, plug in to kind of lay stuff out, so really easy to use. 
There are also a whole load of premium themes available. Now with premium themes, you get a lot more features, you get support, you get updates, and a whole kind of cool stuff. Some of the premium themes that I like are Divi, Xtheme, and pretty much anything on Theme Forest that's got a good review and has got a few downloads. So uh, yeah, I'll put links to all those things in the description and go check them out. Once you've got your theme installed, you might want to install the demo content that comes with the theme, and this varies depending on the theme you choose. But with demo content, basically it'll add some pages and, and layouts so that you've got something that you can work with and all you've got to do is just change the content so it fits your needs. And speaking of content, that's the next step. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is add some content to your site. If you've installed the demo content that came with the theme, you just need to go and edit that. If you're starting from scratch, you need to be aware that pages are a good place to put static information. So maybe your About Us page, your Home page, your Contact Us page, use the Page is section for that. And for your blog, you're gonna to wanna to use posts. So each post appears on your blog, it's got a date, uh, people can add comments, that kind of thing. It's really easy to add content with WordPress. It's got a, a nice kind of visual editor. Uh, it works very much like Microsoft Word. So if you've used that, then you should be fine. Depending on the theme, you may get a more advanced editor, something like Elementor or Visual Composer. This basically allows you to drag and drop elements. Far more sophisticated, uh, but also really easy to use. Once you've got your content on, the next thing you might wanna do is add some plugins. You can find these within the plugins section of your WordPress dashboard. There are tons of free plugins and they basically add extra functionality to your site, extra features. So say for example, you wanted to add a contact form or you wanted to add some social media buttons or you wanna do some SEO or you wanna add your Google Analytics. There'll be a plugin out there that does all of those sort of things. So be sure to check out my channel where you find loads of videos around different plugins that are available for you to install for free. Similar to the themes, there are also some premium plugins. These offer extra functionality, better support, that kind of thing. But generally, you will find a free plugin that will do what you need. And that's basically it. Now, obviously, I've skimmed over a lot of the detail. If you want more detail around any of the things that I've mentioned, do check out my channel where you'll find videos on most of those subjects. You'll also find some of the full length tutorials there where I do go through a lot of the detail and kind of hold your hand uh, step by step. Now, if you've got any questions or comments, do leave them below. I'll do my best to answer as many as I possibly can. As I mentioned before, if you're not already subscribed, then please do click on the eagle to do that and click on the bell to be notified when I upload a new video. Here is another video it's chosen specially for you. So I'm sure you're gonna like it. And there's my other channel. Check it out. Till next time, bye for now.